Today we'll be identifying different herbaceous plants and berries to learn about their healing properties. Each herb is very distinct in appearance, smell, and taste. Though not all herbs and flowers are edible, most of them can be made into tea. It's beneficial to learn what they're good for so you know how to use them medicinally. Hi! This is my mom, Tiara. Nice to meet you. Happy to meet you guys. Let's go explore the garden. Here's my garden. And right here we've got calendula. I've got calendula all over the place. I'm a birth worker, so it's great for babies who have diaper rash. This is the female plantain. There's a male as well that's more broad-leafed, and this has some more narrow leaf. It's really good for like skin irritation, so it pairs well with the calendula. This is sorrel. It's really sort of like this citrusy tasting green. Anybody want to try some? Yeah. It's pretty good. It's like a tropical um, green, but grow it here too. This is anise hyssop. It's good for the digestion. Anybody like black licorice? Try a piece of the, the purple, the flower. Do you want to try some? I'll try it. Okay. And then I have clover here. Clover is really good for balancing hormones. Mugwort is a great cleanser. It's really good for like steaming with. It's good for your belly. Marshmallow is a really good one to soothe your stomach. They're sweet, but also have this like soft taste to them. Our nettles are like really deeply nourishing. Both elecampane and echinacea, as well as this goldenrod that's next to it are all really good for the immune system. I've got basil, chamomile, the lavender. The raspberry is both an uh, edible fruit and an herb. So uh, red raspberry leaf tea is really good for the womb. This is rosemary. This is also really good for pests because it has all of those volatile oils. It's really strong smelling. I use it for cooking. I use it for baths. I use it for steams. What else to know about you? I love this plant. It feels like a protector. It's a strong plant. Which leads us to my very next protector, rue or la ruda. This is probably my favorite plant. My grandma's from Panama. One of the things she didn't bring over was the names of the plants. And I went to the garden shop looking for la ruda because that was a name that was introduced to me. Everywhere I went, they were like, do you know another name for it? And I was like, they don't have it in English. <laughs> and I, I ran into somebody who was speaking Spanish, and she was like, ah, la medicina. And I was like, oh my god, somebody knows what I'm talking about. This is not the original plant, actually. She told me you have to share it. And I was like, I don't want to damage it. Let me just wait until next season. And it died. The following year, a seed must have fallen and it started growing out of the cracks. And I brought it with me and I always share some. Because we have to share it. So we should gather herbs for tea. Yeah. yeah. Growing a garden is a fun way to connect with friends, family, and overall good for your health and well being. You get exposure to the sun, it's sustainable for the planet, and you get to learn a fundamental skill that you'll be able to pass along for generations to come. Let's go make tea! Yeah. set up you notice like the majority of, this, of it is not in my fence backyard it's out in the open in yeah. the public to share mm -hmm. let other people be a part of it thanks so much for joining us today it was such a blessing to bring you on a walk through our garden we can't wait to bring you along next time 
What are you going to plant in your garden?